Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at a beer or a brewery that I have not previously reviewed on Beer Geek Nation. This one, my friends, is from Schmaltz Brewing at Saratoga Springs, New York. This is part of their Coney Island series or their Barrel Age series. This is Human Blockhead, which is a 10% alcohol by volume Imperial American box, so basically a double box that they threw in some bourbon barrels and not just any bourbon barrels, it's Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels, so one of my personal favorites. And I gotta give a big thanks to Lucas for shooting me this one. Really hard to find by me. This is a limited release. It's been out for a while, so if you can, pick it up. So without further ado, let me get into glass, let you guys know it smells, tastes, and give me the verdict. On Schmaltz Brooms, Human Blockhead. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Human Blockhead, it's that classic double block. Um, dark red, I mean it's a mahogany type of red. There's nice bubbles streaming off the top, the, the uh, bottom of the glass there. There's about a two finger, an off white head. Again, it's that eggshell white khaki, really, really tight white bubbles, nice fluffy head on there. Lots of lacing on this one. The head is anticipating as quickly as I thought it would be for the amount of ABV. Definitely seeing some alcohol legs on this one though. Um, yeah, overall it's just a really classic looking double block. All right, guys, the aroma on the human blockhead. Wow, this is a bourbon lover's dream. Big vanilla. I'm getting caramel notes from the double block. There's a nice fruity ester in there, a big breadiness, a burnt toffee, a big kind of oakiness to it, a big woody character. Yeah, I mean, it just screams bourbon and double block. It's just an intense smelling beer. Wow. All right, guys, the taste on the human blockhead. Cheers. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is impressive. Right at the front of the tongue, it's, um, I mean, it doesn't ease into it at all. It's a massive assault of bourbon characters. Big vanilla. You're getting a spiciness. You're getting the alcohol burn. Middle of the mouth is where the double block really starts to take over. You get the big caramel notes, the toffee notes, the burnt kind of sugary notes. Um, big, big double block lager characteristics. The fruity esters, the breadiness. There's a slight roasted quality to it. Blends really nice with the overall kind of big bourbon, vanilla, oakiness at the front of the tongue. By the middle of the tongue, it starts to blend. Back of the mouth, I'm starting to get more of kind of the overall feel of the actual beer. Vanilla, a woodiness, that oakiness coming through. Almost a slight smokiness in there. Big, big sugary notes. Um, it's a sweet finish, aftertaste, definitely more bourbon. Uh, vanilla characters, that oakiness coming through, again with the caramel and the toffee. Wow, it is a massive beer. It is a bourbon lover's beer. It is a big beer lover's beer. It is a barrel-aged beer lover's beer. Wow, it is a <laughs> big son of a bitch, as they say. Holy cow. All right, guys, so the final verdict from the Schmaltz Human Blockhead, 10% alcohol by volume, double block aged in bourbon barrels. Guys, I have got to give this one an A. This is by far one of the best bourbon forward beers I've ever had. It's a monster of a beer. It's not balanced at all. It's extreme. It's over the top. And I think it's really something you guys should try. It's an awesome, awesome beer. And I think it flies under a lot of people's radars because I know it flew under mine until I tried it. And wow, I am so glad I did. Uh, it's awesome, awesome stuff. Getting an A for me, guys. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.